One of the most confusing questions in tech right now is what is the difference between a AI engineer and a machine learning engineer? Both are six figure jobs, but if you choose the wrong one, you can spend months, if not years, learning the wrong skills for that particular job that you are after. As a practicing machine learning engineer, I want to outline the key differences between the two roles so that way you can make the correct choice for your career path. Let's get into it. In a nutshell, a AI engineer is basically a software engineer, but someone who specializes in the use and integration of foundational gen AI models like Claude, Bert, and the regular GPT model. They don't build these models directly from scratch, but rather use them to serve a certain purpose. On the other hand, a machine learning engineer is someone who actually builds models from scratch or using basic libraries and deploys them in end-to-end -end systems. These models that a machine learning engineer builds are mainly more traditional machine learning models like gradient booster trees or neural networks. But sometimes they can also work on gen AI models as well. What I find funny about this naming convention is that machine learning is actually a subfield of AI. So an AI engineer, at least by today's definition, is actually a gen AI engineer. So as you can see, it's not very crystal clear, which is why the question is so confusing. Anyway, enough of me being pedantic. Let's explain what these roles do in a bit more detail. As I just mentioned, you should think of an AI engineer as essentially a software engineer with a specialism in using gen AI models and using those models more to build a product rather than building these LLMs directly from scratch. AI engineers mainly work with something called foundational models, which are really big neural networks that are trained on oceans of data that is like text, image, audio, and video. The most kind of popular gen AI or foundational model is obviously ChatGPT with its GPT series. As I said before, AI engineers don't build or train these foundational models. They rather integrate them to traditional software products. For example, they may embed a foundational model as a chatbot on a shopping website so that customers can quickly find what they're after on that particular website. Or they may add it to a coding IDE as a coding assistant, like Cursor is. So what skills do you need to become an AI engineer? Well, this role is evolving very quickly. And so the requirements change pretty much every quarter. But let me give you a list of all the key things that you need to know. What you mainly need to kind of be aware of, or at least learning, is all the latest developments in LLMs, neural networks, and pretty much just how the AI industry is moving. To give you a concrete list, you should have solid software engineering skills, skills in Python, SQL, and other backend languages like Java or Go, CICD, Git and GitHub, LLMs and Transformers, RAG, prompt engineering, foundational models, fine tuning, and the model context protocol. So as I said, it's basically all the fundamental software engineering skills, plus that extra knowledge about Gen AI, LLMs, and basically all the cutting edge AI that's currently happening at the moment. If you are looking to become an AI engineer, then I recommend you check out the AI engineer career track from 365 Data Science, who are kindly sponsoring this video. This career track will teach you everything you need to know to land a career as an AI engineer, even if you're a complete beginner. It will teach you the basics of Python, how to work with data using pandas, what are LLMs and how do they work, how to use vector databases, and further courses that you can elect to further solidify your understanding on a range of topics like model deployment, machine learning, and deep learning. You will also develop portfolio projects along the way to solidify your understanding. Learners from 365 Data Science now work at top tech companies like Amazon, Meta, and Google. So 
you'll be in great hands. Not to mention, you'll get an AI engineer certificate that you can showcase to prospective employers. These certifications are also accredited by leading industry bodies, making your application stand out even more. I will leave all of this linked in the description below for you to check out. A machine learning engineer focuses on building machine learning models and then deploying them into production systems. It initially came from the software engineering role where there was demand for software engineers with machine learning skills. Kind of similar how there is demand now for software engineers with AI engineering skills. The significant distinction between a machine learning engineer and an AI engineer is that a machine learning engineer builds machine learning models directly from scratch. However, these models are more specific and narrower in exactly what they solve. For example, you may build a machine learning model that detects credit card fraud or a recommendation system for a social media app. But as you can see, these models are very targeted and have a very specific use case. Whereas the models an AI engineer works with are generative and more foundational. And because they're foundational, they can be used on a wide variety of tasks. Like ChatGPT, it can be used for lo loads of things. But the models built by machine learning engineers, like I just said, are a lot more specific. So there is a difference in the types of models and the use case of models between the two roles as well. There also exists further specialism and further distinction in the machine learning engineer role. For example, you could also be a machine learning hardware engineer, a machine learning platform engineer, or a machine learning infrastructure engineer. These roles are kind of out of the scope for this video, and these roles are something that you kind of get into after like five years in the field. And like I said, they're kind of out of scope, but I'm just mentioning them here so that you're aware of it. As a practicing machine learning engineer myself, I can tell you the exact things that you need to know. So obviously to start, you need to know Python and SQL. However, some companies may require other languages. For example, in my current role, I'm also learning Rust. You also need to know Git and GitHub, Bash and Z Shell, AWS, Azure and GCP, software engineering fundamentals like CICD, MLOps and Docker, excellent machine learning knowledge, ideally with a specialism in an area like forecasting, recommendation systems, or computer vision, and solid mathematical understanding of statistics, linear algebra, and calculus. So as you can see, you basically need software engineering skills, but also this kind of wide skill set in machine learning and maths, which makes sense from how I described the distinction between AI engineering and machine learning engineer. So the question still stands, which one should you choose? Well, let me break down some of the more logistical aspects. The background for both roles is pretty similar. Ideally, you have a master's in a STEM based subject and you have worked a couple of years as either a data scientist or software engineer. If you want to become an AI engineer, the software engineer background is probably better than a data scientist but I wouldn't worry too much about this. I will say though, that AI engineering is slightly easier to get into, mainly because learning how to use Gen AI is a slightly easier learning curve than understanding all the complex maths and machine learning theory that is required to become a machine learning engineer. But that is just my opinion, and I'm sure other people may disagree with that. Machine learning engineering is the more established role. But that's mainly because Gen AI foundational models haven't been around for that long. And the current demand or the popularity of AI is increasing. So the demand for AI engineers is currently skyrocketing. You do need to be careful though, because titles in this industry from first hand experience are very vague. For example, I have people working in my company who are machine learning engineers but they specifically and only work on Gen AI and foundational models. Yet their title is machine learning engineers or machine learning engineer, but they do an AI engineer job. 
So I wouldn't necessarily focus on titles too much, but rather focus on the type of work that you'll be doing and make sure you read the job description. That is the key thing. When it comes to pay, according to Levels FYI, the median salary of a machine learning engineer in the UK is £105,000 and for an AI engineer is £75,000. But I would take this with a big pinch of salt because these job titles are mainly at large tech companies and as I just mentioned, titles can be misleading and it's kind of a blurry line of what classes as a machine learning engineer and AI engineer. So I wouldn't base your career decision simply on this salary. Either way, both pay pretty well regardless. So what is your final choice? In my opinion, just go with what you are most interested in and what you're drawn to the most. That's how I became a data scientist and ultimately a machine learning engineer. If you love maths and understanding how things work under the hood, then machine learning engineering is clearly the choice for you. But let's say you're really interested in this AI kind of wave in the moment and you've been doing a lot of reading in that specific area and you really enjoy just shipping products that are AI focused and you don't care too much about the underlying maths, then obviously an AI engineer or an AI engineering career track is best for you. But as I said, both jobs are clearly in high demand, the demand is only growing, they pay you well, so either choice you make, you really can't go wrong. However, suppose you do feel that greater pull to become a machine learning engineer. If that's the case, then I recommend you check out this video where I explain exactly how I would become a machine learning engineer if I was starting again. I'll see you there.